Greetings everyone, welcome to Lessons from Books. This is Daya Dalton and today I wanted to talk to you guys about this forgiveness exercise that involves line writing, which I learned and did. So I have so much to tell you, so let's just get right into it. So what's this all about? Well, there's a picture of Edwin Gaines. She's an author, speaker, spiritual teacher. She proposes line writing as an aid to true wholehearted forgiveness. The basis of this is the Bible story where Jesus is asked, how many times must I forgive my brother? And the person asks seven times and Jesus says, no, not seven, but 70 times seven. So 70 times seven gives 490 times and Edwin Gaines takes that literally and writes 490 lines for each person she needs to forgive. Line writing is often used as a punishment. If you might remember back to grade school, for me, primary school, secondary school, I got punished sometimes. Yes, I did. <laughs> I went to an all girls boarding school and the number one rule in the school rule book was all girls must behave in a quiet and seemly manner at all times. And I remember that so many years later because this was the most popular punishment. You would have to write lines of that rule and sometimes 200, sometimes a thousand, I guess depending on the gravity of your offense. There is power in repetition. This is also why people do affirmations. It's one of the best ways and the quickest ways and the easiest ways to really get at your subconscious. So why forgive? Well, this is going to be overkill, so I'm not going to spend so much time on it, but I'm sure you guys all know that spiritual teachings, teachers, religions, various cultures all over the world all talk about forgiveness. Now, if we as human beings can agree on anything for how much we fight, then it must be important. So we all know forgiveness is good. Holding on to past hurts only hurts you. Yeah, because the person who hurt you is off living their lives. So, you know, why are we holding on to it? And it's a totally unnecessary burden to carry. Forgiving and letting go sets us free. And here's a big one. Forgiveness can play a role in your finances. Yes, I've actually heard a lot of teachers say that there is usually a link in many people's lives between unforgiveness and debt. Yikes. So let's get personal. I'm going to tell you why I did this. <laughs> why would anyone do this to themselves, right? I know. Well, I was stagnated at that very point. And when I was listening to Edwin Gaines speak, I kind of felt like, yeah, I don't know about all that, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not in primary school anymore. This looks like a punishment. So I obviously was not thrilled. I'm not going to lie and tell you that I had this great attitude. No. But in the course of listening to her, it dawned on me that I had to do this. But here's the other surprise. The subject was shocking. As I was thinking and meditating on, okay, if I'm going to do this exercise, who do I begin with? I had a list of people that I thought could possibly be the best because, you know, I know I don't like them. But the subject that came to mind was a huge surprise because this is someone I consider my friend. You know, we talk all the time. I'm concerned about what's going on with them. I always want to help. But we've had history in the past, absolutely. But I honestly felt that I had gotten past that hurt. So I decided to do it. And I started with this basic sentence. I forgive blank. And that was the person's name. See, the thing with forgiveness is that sometimes in your surface mind, you might feel like you have gotten past something, but hurts, some wounds cut really, really deep. And that's why it's important to do an exercise like this because you can really, really get down to the root of the matter. And so this was a complete surprise to me. So I began by saying, I forgive blank, the person's name. But what happened was after about the first hundred lines or so, the sentence began to morph into like more amazing ways of saying the same thing. So as you can see in the picture over here, I have, I now lovingly forgive and release. You know, it became like, I wholeheartedly forgive. I release this person with love and blessings to his or her highest good. And it just became way more heartfelt that way. So, like I said, yes, that was one of the immediate effects, but around the 200s, which you can see in this picture, I began to have a deep sense of calm. It was amazing. And then the 
even more fantastic thing was I now began to come up with good memories about good times I had had with this person and ways that they had actually been an asset to my life. Because let's be honest, hardly anybody is all bad. You might think that even the people you think you hate, if you looked very deeply, you would see how whatever they did to you has been instrumental in making you the person that you are today. This is why we forgive. Because yeah, you may have been hurt, but you wouldn't be who you are today without that hurt. So it actually helps you grow. So they are actually doing you a service if you think about it. As I kept going, and I realized that every time I thought about this particular person, even though we were friends, even though I cared, I began to realize that I linked them with pain. It was always a painful memory. So this began to diminish as I did the exercise. And then the joy and gratitude for having had them in my life began to increase dramatically. And now every time I think about them, I think of the good memories, the ways that they actually helped me and things like that. So by the very end of the exercise, I kid you not, I could only think happy, loving thoughts about this person. And that has persisted till today, even long after I was done with the exercise. Now, every time I think of the person, happy, loving thoughts. Amazing. So here's some blurry photographic evidence. So sorry about how the pictures turned out, but I wanted you guys to know that I really did this, okay? So here's some statistics for you. It took me, about four days writing continuously every spare minute I got. Now Edwin Gaines actually proposes that you write 35 in the morning, 35 in the evening, so that's 70 each day, and you do this for seven days, so that will give you 70 times seven. And it really doesn't take that long to write 35 lines, really, by the time you get started and get in the flow, it becomes really easy, along with all the other things that will be happening inside of you. I used about 11 sheets of A4 paper most of them front and back so this is not for the weak of heart your fingers are gonna hurt your wrist is gonna hurt it's gonna be a test of your diligence dedication and discipline but you'll be very happy you did if you do decide to try this out it's recommended that you do this in pencil I'll tell you what Edwin Gaines said because someone else told her this Pencil is carbon-based, lead is carbon-based. You, as a human being, are carbon-based. So it's kind of like that whole idea of getting in touch with nature. And lastly, this is just a tip. I used several pencils. I had maybe about seven or eight pencils. I would sharpen them all, and then I would write, 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 write. And then when they were all blunt, I would stop and resharpen them all. So this also gives you a break from the hurting fingers and all that. Testimony time! So, I wanted you guys to see, okay, in this picture, you can see how long my sentences became. I am type A. You don't have to do this. But because it was such a surprise to me that I even had to forgive this person, I wanted to make sure that I never had to do this exercise again for this particular person. So I wanted to write as much as I could. But if you want to write shorter sentences, that is perfectly fine, okay? And you'll be done quicker. So did this also affect my finances? You bet. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything, but within a week of finishing this exercise, now I work freelance, my income increased by three to four hundred dollars a month. Now, this might look small to some of you, but you never know if you did this exercise, you might get a four thousand dollar increase. Maybe it might be a four hundred thousand dollar increase. You don't know, but this was my situation. I just wanted to share it with you. And for me, this was a big deal because I wasn't expecting it. And extra money is extra money, even if it's a dollar that someone gives you. And that was just the beginning. To be honest, there have been many other things that have happened, which may not be quantifiable directly in monetary terms, but there's been a vast improvement just off of this one person. So what would you do with an additional $400 a month? Is it worth trying this exercise? I think it is. This is the end of what I had to tell you and I thank you for watching. But before I go, I wanted to give a warm welcome and say a personal huge thank you to my the newest subscribers to the S channel. Here they are. Oh my wonderful superstars. Thank you so much you guys 
for subscribing and I will see you on the next video. I will have a lovely book all summarized and ready. So have a great time guys. Thank you for watching.